All right, so hopefully you've already logged into WeVideo with the uh, code that your teacher gave you, uh, probably on Google Classroom. That gives you some upgraded features and memory and such. So let's get started with our first activity. I'm gonna open up a new tab, type in WeVideo. I've been there once before, so it filled in the rest of the word for me. And I'm going to go to the website and it logged me right back in. It's possible, here I'm gonna log out just for a second so you can see. You might see this opening page again. Remember, you don't have to fill out your email or anything, just click on sign in with Google and it should take you right there. Okay, as long as your uh, Gmail is open or you're signed into Chrome, it should take you right there, okay? So uh, this is what it should look like. I'm gonna click on video because hello, that's what we're trying to do. It might ask me some questions like this. I'm just gonna leave that <clears throat> alone. And uh, you can see I have some photographs here already. Um, I'm gonna show you how to upload photos in a minute. Uh, you probably won't see these things here. You'll probably see a blank screen, uh, but down here you can see there's what we call a timeline. This is my cursor. Uh, these are numbers uh, of seconds. You can see there's a couple of different layers here. There's a screen over here up in the top right where you can watch your video when you play it. Um, so this is pretty good. Now here's a problem some of my sixth graders in particular had. Um, when they log in, it actually looks like this which is different. And they're going, wait a minute, Mr. Pat, mine doesn't look like yours. Uh, if, especially if you did some wee video stuff in elementary school, uh, this is basically the elementary school version of it. It's called the storyboard view, which is, you know, it works, but it's kind of, uh, kind of lame. Uh, if you have your, um, screen looks like this, click on these three little lines here, right below the wee video symbol and way down at the bottom, there's a button that says switch to timeline. I had maybe a quarter of my students, uh, the first session I, I uh, introduced this activity, had to do that. So anyway, if it looks like this, you don't have to do any of those things. You're in really good shape. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to delete these two photos just so that you can see what it looks like. Yeah, this is what it should look like when you log in for the first time if you've never done Wii Video before. Uh, you don't have anything to add to your video yet because you're brand new to it. So what we need to do is add some media and media can be photos or videos or songs or all sorts of other things. But uh, for right now, what we're gonna do is add some media. Now, the problem being that you need to add it from your Chromebooks um, download folder. So let's open up a new Google tab and let's, uh, let's get some pictures. Let's say times square. And I'll click over here where it says images. And there's times square. So what I'm going to do is right click on this particular photograph or whichever one you want here. Maybe we'll do it at night. No, I'll do it during the day. Oop, I did not want to do that. I want to right click on it, hello. And here where it says save image as, don't try to copy this and paste it into Wii Video. it won't work. I'm gonna save image as, and it's going to save file as. This is my download folder, okay? And instead of the word download, you can see it's kind of highlighted blue down here. I'm gonna hit backspace and say, oops, NYC, short for New York City. And I'm gonna click save. And I actually get this little pop-up over here that says, uh, you know, yes, we did actually download that. And while I'm here, while I'm in a Google tab, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna say, uh, let's see, um, how about uh, Tower of London. Okay, there's the Tower of London. Kind of cool. I will save that image as. It'll bring me into my download folders. I'll call this London and save it. It gives me another little notification here. Hey, it worked, you downloaded that, all right? And at this point, since I've got my two photographs, and by the way, you can pick whatever you want. Uh, for my first example, uh, I picked uh, puppies and a beach. 
uh, but you want to uh, have two photographs somewhere in your downloads. So now here I am back in WeVideo, and I'm going to add media here. And I'm really looking for this Browse to Select button. There's a few different ways I can get there. In fact, I could just click up here where it says the word media. When I click there, it also has an Add Media Browse to Select button. So I'm going to do just that, Browse to Select. And now you can see tiny little pictures here, right? Tiny little photographs. And it's got the, the, the title of the file, and it's got when I downloaded it, etc. But this is a pro tip that a lot of people don't know about. See this little thing up here in the right corner? It looks like a window. If I click on that, I see all the photographs. In fact, you can see the puppy, and you can see the beach, and you can see New York City, and all these other things. Uh, if you click back... It goes back to what's called the list view. These are lists of the different files. So if I click here, I know, ah, yep, there's New York City. And I click open, and it'll take a minute. In fact, you can see there's a little bar graph here. Shows me that it's uh, loading in there. Keep making those tools go away. Takes a minute. Remember that... Uh, we video is actually in California, so you're sending your picture from your Chromebook to California, and then it's sending it back to you via the internet. So even though the internet's super fast, it might take a minute. All right. Uh, let's see. While I'm waiting, I'm going to add another photo. You know what? I know I uploaded the Tower of London, but I really like that puppy. So I'm going to add that. Oh, there you go. Look, there's my New York City thing, and it shows another photo is in progress down here in the bottom corner. It's going to take another minute maybe to get there. And while this is happening, I'm going to go back to my dashboard, go back to my video. Yeah, yeah, start editing. And there is my New York City picture, and there is my puppy. And they're right there ready for me to use in my video. All right, now you can see there's this little uh, blue line at the bottom where it's still kind of loading up the puppy picture. But I'm going to grab New York City. I'm just going to put my cursor over it, click and pull, and I'm going to bring it down onto this line here that says Video 1. Okay? And let's see, with my timeline there, I can tell that this is about 5 seconds long, which is a little short. I'd rather have it be about 10 seconds long. So there's about 10 seconds worth of New York City. Move it all the way over. Yeah, about nine and change. There, that's about 10 seconds. Oh, now my puppy's ready. So let me put my puppy down here. And I'm going to drag it over like so. And that is your first task. All right. So this is a lesson 1A. And that was for you to log in, start a video, okay, and upload some media to your download folder in your Chromebook and get it here into WeVideo so it was useful to you. So uh, I want you to stop. Uh, actually, I guess this video will be over in a minute, um, and there will be a Lesson 1B continuation of this uh, lesson. So go ahead and get yourself a couple of photos. You can pick whatever you want, upload them to WeVideo, and then put them here on your timeline under Video 1. Okay? Good luck.